Hey, in our previous video, I was showing you how to run CHR virtual machine uh, in your PC. So in this video, I will be showing you how to license it. So after you first install your virtual machine, uh, it comes with a free license. Um, basically, it means no license. And uh, with no license, CHR will happily run and is good for experiments. Uh, but the limitation is that uh, each uh, interface in router OS is limited to one megabit. So for testing all kinds of configurations, this is completely fine. But if you want to use it in some kind of actual real, real life uh, scenario, one megabit could be not enough. So this is where you need to uh, obtain some kind of router OS license. So for CHR, there are uh, a little bit different licensing uh, levels than in, uh, let's say, Microtech uh, hardware products. In CHR, we have the free license that is uh, standard, so it comes uh, with a limitation of one megabit, like I said. Then we have P1, where each interface is limited to one gigabit. Uh, and then we have P10, with interface is limited to 10 gigabits, and P unlimited with no limits at all. But uh, what is interesting uh, compared to the regular uh, router OS that comes in our hardware products is that uh, there are no other limits. Speed per interface is the only limitation. So uh, like I said, for experimentation, uh, using it without license is completely fine. There are no limits except the speed on each interface. Then we have P1 and all features are unlimited here. There is no limit to how many tunnels you have or anything else. So that's why I previously said that uh, this is much better than the ISO installation because the license is, uh, gives you more freedom. But how we license the router? So this is what we will do now. So we are connected to my CHR device that I uh, installed previously and we go into system license. Here you can see the system ID uh, level is free, so no license has been applied. To get a license, now we need to click on Renew License. Uh, and then you will have this window where it says Account, Password, and the level you want. So this will request a trial. So my username is here, and I will paste my password here. And I'd like to try a P1 license. Now, this will be a trial for 60 days. Uh, let's click on Start. And now the uh, virtual system connected to our Microtech licensing server and has requested a, uh, a trial license for the level P1. And during the trial period, which is 60 days, it will have no limitations at all. It will be fully functional. And you can actually keep using it. The only thing that will happen after 60 days is it will not uh, allow you to upgrade the router OS version. So then after this happens, limited upgrades checkbox will be shown here. Uh, but, um, but that only happens after your trial runs out. Now, the other thing to note is that this uh, licensing window here shows next renewal and deadline. So the deadline might be a little bit confusing because even after you have purchased the license, the deadline will still uh, uh, be shown here, but it will be extended at each renewal uh, date. And why is this necessary? Because a CHR allows you to move your license from one system to another system. And uh, so this means that CHR must connect to your account periodically and check if you have still the license assigned to this installation or if you have moved it to another installation. So this is why all of these dates will be always shown even if you have purchased a license for your system. So let's go uh, uh, into our Microtech account now and see how it looks from the other side, from the account perspective. So in my account, I'll scroll down to all CHR keys. And here in the, uh, in the CHR key section, I see all my virtual systems and uh, if you look in the in the virtual machine, uh, you'll see that my system ID is 5KB something something. This is the one here. So what I want to stress here is that uh, you don't have to check in the router 
uh, about the status of your license. This is not shown here at all. All the licensing happens in your account. So um, the router doesn't actually know what's going on in your uh, account because it only checks when, when this date comes. It will then check uh, if your license is there or not, but uh, it will. it is not up to date. But if you go into your account, you can see now this system ID was issued on this date and it will expire then and this is the trial now. And what you can do now is, well, first of all, you can keep using it forever. Uh, it will stop uh, allowing you upgrades of router OS, but it will keep working. But if you want a fully license, click on the upgrade button here. And then you can select uh, what kind of license you want to buy. Then you can click on upgrade and you can pay with credit card, prepaid key or some other way. And the transaction has been successful. So now let's go to our CHR and now you can see the license is completely, uh, the license has been uh, purchased and there is no more trial. But in the router you will still see all the same information. What you can do actually is uh, if you now make a new uh, CHR installation here, somewhere else, doesn't matter, in the cloud. What you can do is your purchased license from this system ID can be transferred to another one. Just click on transfer. And, uh, well, I can't uh, transfer it because I don't have any other trials running, but I could uh, reassign this license somewhere else. And this is the main benefit of CHR if we compare it to the x86 ISO installation is that the license can be moved around. Uh, if you don't like this CHR, you want to create a new one, you, you want to assign it more RAM or something, uh, simply move the purchase license to that one. And that's it. Licensing is quite easy. So thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.